Hello and welcome to a quick introduction to Playbooks. My name is Ian Lawson. My goal today is to be able to walk you through some of the high level features of Playbooks. If you notice over on the right hand side of the Chrome window, there's a little green square. When I click on that, Playbooks opens up and I'm able to log in using my Salesforce credentials. So I click on the button and you can see I'm just authorizing real quick and I'm brought to my dashboard. Here I'm able to see how many phone calls and emails I have scheduled for today. As you can see, I have 30 calls and 26 emails to work through. That allows me to manage my time appropriately and make sure I get to the bottom of my task list and reach my goals. I'm gonna start my day by clicking on Start Today's Tasks. This brings me to a list of phone calls and emails I need to complete today. Right now, this is just filtering for my phone call tasks. Let's start with Marissa Abbott. You'll notice that after I click on Marissa's name, the record loads within Salesforce and I see all the pertinent information about Marissa and my previous activity history. You can also see on the playbook extension that I've loaded her in the cold call play, which is a sequence of phone calls and emails over a period of time designed to yield the best outreach results. Right below that, you can see that I have a cue card available to me. This example shows a fully written out script just in case I get lost or I don't remember what the messaging should be. Once I've reviewed the cue card and opened the Salesforce record, I'm ready to click the green call button here at the bottom. Let's pretend I'm able to reach Marissa and at the end of the call, I'll click the red end call button. Then I can enter my notes into the remarks box and specify the call result, then click save. This will then seamlessly send the call task over to Salesforce and I'm ready to move on to my next task. If you notice here at the bottom, Playbooks is prompting me that Rosa Adams is my next task to complete, so I'll click there. The record will load in Salesforce and Playbooks and will show me that Rosa is enrolled in a different play than Marissa Abbott. This one is for an upcoming event. Visually, I can tell that I'm on the first step of this play because it is highlighted in green and that the first step of this play is an email. I can review the email template already provided, make any necessary adjustments if needed, then I'm ready to send the email. Next, I'll click the green send button and that email is sent. Now I'm ready to move on to the next task on my task list and from my perspective, it's just a rinse and repeat motion from that point forward. Now let's talk about how we enroll people into Playbooks. One way is to go to a leads list view. And if you notice, Playbooks gives me a visual indicator if the record is already enrolled in Playbooks. So the green icons mean they're already in Playbooks and the gray ones mean that they are not. So I'm going to select a few of the green records. Then I'm gonna click on this, add the three Playbooks button. Playbooks will pop out and let me know that those three records have been added successfully to Playbooks. And the next step is to enroll them in a play. To enroll, I check the boxes next to the records click actions and select the play of my choice, then click finish. Just because a record has been added to playbooks doesn't mean it's in an active play. The other way is to load them directly from the records themselves. I'm going to open Tyler Lopez's record. If you notice, there is an add to playbooks button, then it's the same process from there. It will load into playbooks, I'll check the box and add him to the same play. So two super easy ways to load records into playbooks. Now that I have a bunch of prospects loaded into Playbooks, I'm gonna talk about how to organize my day to be most effective. Playbooks gives me the option to choose my own adventure. And what I mean by that is that it gives you some sorting and filtering options to focus on the right tasks at the right time. A very classic example would be to target all the contacts from an organization. Earlier I was calling Marissa at Domo, and I may want to call all of her colleagues all in a row to get a synergistic effect going. You can also see that I have filter options around task type, do I want to make all my phone calls at once to leverage calling time best practices? Or do I want to send all my emails out? This is also where I can get to my past due and skip tasks. We also give the option down here to filter by time zone, which is important. I don't want to call people too early or too late. And all of these options help me to take control of the sales process, reaching out to the right people at the right time while still getting through my list of prescribed play tasks. And finally, let's talk about how we create a play. So I'll click the menu button then go to plays. You can see I've got a few plays already created, but we'll create a new one by clicking the green plus button up here. Then you've got two options, either to create a new one or import a play that someone within your organization has already created. Creating a play is really easy. Notice on the left hand side, you'll give it a name and a quick description. On the right, I've got the different play step options. Going from left to right, I've got an automatic email. Next, I can set up a one-off email, then a phone call step, another step, or wait time. 
We're going to start this play with a phone call. The first thing that comes up is our cue card, which allows me to add a bullet list of reminders or a full on script. I'll enter the prompts that I want included, then click save. The play setup will automatically ask me how much wait time I want. If I want to send a follow up email immediately after my phone call step, then I will leave the wait time at zero and click save. Next, I'll click the automatic email step because this is going to be a fairly simple message that I know I won't need to change and I'll use neural send so that it will be delivered at the best time per recipient. I'll wait a couple of days before I schedule my next call task and so on and so forth. The other step type option I have is an other task. This could be a social interaction. An example could be a LinkedIn in mail, a handwritten note, or some other internal procedure like updating an opportunity record. Then I'll click create and my play is ready to be used. My next action is to go assign it to existing records within playbooks. I'll browse to the menu, then people, and I'll do a quick filter for people not enrolled in a play. Check all the boxes, then assign them to my new play. And that completes my quick intro to playbooks. You've now experienced the dashboard and how to quickly and efficiently work through your open tasks. You've seen a couple of strategies to filter tasks, how to get records imported to playbooks, and finally how to create plays and assign them to records. For more videos like this and other product articles, be sure to visit help.insidesales.com.